Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, um, just hear me out for a second. Let me run this by y'all. After what I saw last night, I had what you would call a epiphany, a vision. But I've always thought this anyway. I always thought about this scenario anyway. But after what I saw last night, this is a fight that would draw interest. And I think it could be lucrative. Not Manny Pacquiao or Conor McGregor lucrative, but I think it could be a lucrative fight for both Floyd Mayweather and Gennady Gavetskin. I really think that Floyd should consider fighting Gennady Gavetskin. I really think he should consider Triple G. Like I said, at the end of the day, I never thought much of Triple G to begin with. And I stood, you know what I'm saying, firm on what I said about Triple G many years ago. I took the criticism. I took the flack. I took all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't worried about it because I stood by what I said. And I meant every word what I said about Triple G. But now you looking at. What's going on with Floyd Mayweather? Floyd Mayweather, even at age 44, 45, he still has that itch. And I think Floyd could get one more regular fight under his belt. And I think a Triple G fight would be sellable. And I think it would be feasible. Now, like I said before, would he see Manny Pacquiao money? No. Is there... 75, 80, 100 million dollars in a triple G fight? No. But I feel with proper promotion, good marketing, I feel that there's between 30 and 45 million dollars for Floyd Mayweather. People would come see that fight. They would come see that fight because people would want to see how Floyd Mayweather would fare against somebody as big as Triple G. At the end of the day, he had a exhibition match with with Logan Paul. Logan Paul is like six foot two. And Floyd was still able to get off punches on him. Now, of course, I'm not comparing a professional fighter and Triple G to Logan Paul, but I'm talking about size wise and skill wise and that type of thing. And I think, like I said, with proper marketing, I think Showtime would actually pick up this fight. And I think Floyd versus Triple G would do some some good numbers. I think Floyd versus Triple G would do at least a million pay-per-view buys. Because it would be interest. And people would be curious to see this fight. There was always talk of Floyd and Triple G. And Triple G said that he would be willing to go down and wait and fight Floyd. Well, the weight got to make sense. And of course, the money got to make sense. I think they could do a catch weight at. I think they could do a catch weight at maybe 150, 158, 157, something like that. Floyd would be going up in weight and Triple G would be giving up weight, you know. But like I said, People would go see that fight. You put that fight in in Las Vegas, people would go see it. And, you know, Floyd is is in the Boxing Hall of Fame. You know, Floyd would be, you know, one of the few Hall of Famers having a professional fight. A current Hall of Famer having an actual professional fight coming out of retirement. And like I said before, Floyd going to have haters regardless. But... I think if he gets a tune-up fight in and he fights Triple G and then he can defeat Triple G, well, you know what? You know, Floyd's, uh, you know, legacy is talked about once again. Because this would be, Triple G would be a dangerous opponent for Floyd Mayweather. And as far as size go, why couldn't Floyd fight Triple G? Floyd beat Canelo and Canelo is beating Triple G Two out of three times. So let's not make size that big of a difference. Because at the end of the day, um, Kale Brook went up in weight. And he was actually doing very well against Triple G. 
until he got until he got caught. It was actually his corner that stopped the fight, not him. So it makes a lot of sense to me. I think he can make a lot of dollars. There would be curiosity. There would be a lot of curiosity surrounding this fight. So my thing is, why not? Now, would Floyd take a risk like that at the tender age of 45? I don't know. Should he at least consider it? Yeah. Because from what I saw, Triple G is beatable. And I think Floyd Mayweather has the skill set to beat Triple G. Now, he would have to fight a smart fight. And he'd have to be careful. He'd have to pick his spots against Triple G. But I I think Floyd Mayweather could pull it off. Anyway, this is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.